Brand new information tonight into the devastating fire that ripped through a Detroit senior's housing complex. Fire officials now say the fire started outside of the building. Larry Spruill is live right now on Mack Avenue on the city's east side. And Larry, late last night, we still had a lot of residents not all accounted for. Has everybody now been uh, tallied? Yeah, good evening, Devin and Kimberly. Everyone inside this building that lived inside this building is safe tonight and that's really the incredible news due to the extensive damage of the building across the street. Take a look. I want to just show you what we are talking about. You can see crews out here right now putting up a fence that is to keep everyone outside, not allowing anyone inside the building. Also take a look at the charred remains going from the first, the second, the third floor. I talked to people inside that building at the time of the fire. They're just trying to figure out what to do now. This is it. This is all that I was able to. I didn't even think of this all I have. The reality of losing her home is finally hitting Karen Morris. Overcome with emotions, she just broke down Tuesday. Morris is one of the many who lost her home in a fire Monday night. She called this senior citizen home on Mack Avenue in Detroit home for years. But now this charred structure is all that's left. Deputy Fire Commissioner Dave Fornell tells me they don't have a cause just yet, but our cameras captured arson investigators and cadaver dogs at the scene on Tuesday. It appears the fire started on the outside, uh, on the corner um, over by um, uh, Springle and, um, and Mack. Plastic is burning. So it's burning all this plastic in the front of this building. This was their activity area. Tiffany Dorsey says she was walking by Monday night when she saw the flames. She knew she had to do something. Some just told me, run around to the back and help the people get out because I can't get them out the front because the front is exit off from the fire. Meanwhile, Morris and her neighbors are just trying to pick up the pieces. I'm doing the best I can under these circumstances. And I did speak with the property manager out here. They tell me that they have been discussing plans on rebuilding, but that can take a year or a year and a half, year or a year and a half more from now. We're live on the Choice East Side tonight. Larry Spruill, Local 4. Which is a long time, Larry. So where are most of the residents now? Well, Devin, some, I spoke with some family members, some people that lived inside this building. They tell me they are staying with family members. Meanwhile, others are staying at the hotel. Red Cross is helping. Also, the city of Detroit is helping as well. At least some temporary assistance for now. Devin? Just devastating for them, though, no doubt. All right, Larry.